So good evening, good evening, everyone. This is Vineet Pandey, and this is a live session on the Great Bard, William Shakespeare. So, how is the study going on? Jyotsna ji is saying, "Hurry, hurry, hurry! Start soon. Robot, not me. I am a human." Rachi Aroda, not good. Why? Before we go the uh, before we go for the topic of William Shakespeare, let's talk about your preparation for five minutes. It will help other students to be live because many of uh, uh, many of the students are not very sharp and uh, they must be busy in some evening routines, evening duties. There are many women they are cooking still in the uh, and must be preparing food for the family. So we'll wait for five minutes. Tab tak I will answer your queries. So, Kalpana not satisfied. Why? Juhi, you have to study culture study. Abhi kyu padna hai? Tell me. You know what? Ninety percent people fail because of misguidance. Do you think people, those who are teaching you, are far better than you? Even I was like one of you. It's okay. It's normal. The more you, uh, you know, keep studying, this will increase your uh, pressure, and uh, you will be no doubt. You will be troubled. I must tell you this. This is just the pressure which will trouble you. Don't be uh, in stress. Guru Sakshat Parabrahma Tasmay Sri Guru Enama. Yes, I read that. Thank you so much. Are love Benival only one writer every day? Nahi karna hai. You go in the details. Kalpana doesn't matter if you are not able to read for eight hours. Go for four hours, three hours, but do what exactly you want to do. See, uh, okay, I'll answer you this thing. When you work hard, then you fear of your result. When you fear of your result, you work more harder. And when you go in the depth of things, it actually creates stress for you. Stress makes you feel that we need more time. Stress makes you feel that we need more books. Maybe the other one has better notes. The other one has better copies, and this actually diverts you from qualifying exam. Don't worry. There are many others. Log yar fifty to three percent pe pass hoga. Aapko padhate hain. Aapko kya knowledge hai? You are already in good hands. Don't worry. Gabrao mat. See if you are scared, you will not qualify. Trust me. I met a student. He is my student. He is from Andhra. Has qualified net. So I asked him that, uh, like, why don't you come to the class? Because he has come back to learn from me, but not coming to the class. So he told me that he was wasn't able to pay the renewal fees. So I said, okay, you come to the class because you have come to Delhi. So I, up under the out. He said, I'm getting scared even after qualifying net. I said, you are qualified. Why are you scared? He said, because I think, what if I didn't perform the same thing again? It hardly matters. Just give your best. यार आधे से ज़्यादा लोग आपको पढ़ा रहे हैं जिनका दुबारा कभी नेट नहीं निकला है वो आपको पढ़ा पढ़ा के प्रोफेसर बने हुए हैं तो आपको क्या डरना है Always give your best for your preparations Always remember अच्छा tell me this thing tell me this thing Do we have 130 करोड़ population 130 करोड़ की population है right Why in 130 करोड़ just Vineet Pandey can teach you literature on live videos with no helping material at all. Sir, how can I sit with you live? Answering your queries, teaching you facts, and having things in the brain. I want people to come. It's been one year I'm asking students to ask their teachers to show their talent on live videos. 10 minutes of recorded videos can be done by anyone. Anybody can mug up. And 10 minutes recording videos take 5 days. You mug up something, you record for 2 minutes. You mug up something, you record for 2 minutes. Why people they avoid coming on live sessions? Because you know what? If you have knowledge, if you have worked hard, then you can prove it. Who is teaching you? My certificates or me? If you say Vineet Pandey has seven dime nets to JRF, but when I come in front of you and I don't know how to teach. Marjia, I'm not criticizing her. Jab fail ho jaogi na, jab uski wajah se fail ho jaogi, you'll get to know. You will get to know the fail ho jaogi. 
और वैसे भी वो जेल में जाने वाली है उसका मैंने स्टेटमेंट दे दिया इंस्पेक्टर को आपके मन स्टेटमेंट इट्स नॉट हर क्रिटिसिज्म इट्स एवरी वन हु इज डिसीविंग यू एंड इज नॉट क्वालिफाइड एंड इफ यू थिंक इट्स अ क्रिटिसिज्म आस्क योर टीचर दैट इन माय क्लास शी क्वालिफाइड नहीं व्हाई आफ्टर माय माय क्लास इज शी नॉट एबल टू क्वालिफाई इट्स जस्ट दैट अंधा गुरु आपको अंधा गाइड करेगा और आप ब्लाइंड हो जाओगे एनीवे नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम फेल हो जाओगे तो यू विल कम टू मी डेफिनेटली I'm not saying either you come to me or go to her. I'm just saying choose your teacher, the one who actually has knowledge, the one who actually has knowledge, right? Now we will go for the topic. And Marjia Mehdi, tension with the Jeshi's ka, it's normal thing. Now let's go for it. So today's topic we have William Shakespeare, the Bard of English, and who is this man? The Bard, the poet, the great writer, the Bard of Avon, the greatest writer ever. William Shakespeare was born 1564, 1616. तो 1564 में उसका बर्थ है, 1616 उसका डेथ है. Please mention the point here that we have the authenticity of his baptization. Baptization means नामकरण. When you name the kid, so we have the authentication of the baptization, which means that he was named on 26th of April. And the baptization was done after three. Days of the birth. That's why we assume it is twenty third. I missed a comment, so I was just taking the comment here. Okay, it was for Shakespeare. So twenty three April, twenty third April. We know that that twenty sixth he was baptized, so he was born on twenty third of April. Now remember what to do. William Shakespeare is a great writer, and we cannot read each and everything for net exam. Please make sure you remember that. So please make sure you remember that that we no let me teach. So please make sure you remember that that you cannot read Shakespeare completely. Now what to do? Remember there are one hundred fifty four sonnets written by Shakespeare, and out of these one twenty six are dedicated to male W H William Herbert Earl of Pembroke, and the remaining twenty six are dedicated to dark lady, which can be Mary Fitton, known as. A mistress, a dark lady, known as Mary Fitton. Now the remaining two sonnets, one twenty-six sonnet dedicated to best friend W. H. Earl of Pembroke, William Herbert, and twenty-six sonnets dedicated to dark lady who can be Mary Fitton. There was a study; it is believed that she was not Mary Fitton; she was Lucy, a prostitute of London. So remember this point that if they ask you the question about the dark lady. remember this is mary fitton no need to go for lucy because that is the latest study now what happens here out of 150 so 126 sonnets dedicated to a male which shows that shakespeare had sentiments sentiments for male maybe shakespeare was a gay then 26 sonnets dedicated to lady which means that uh, shakespeare had great uh, kind of you know इंक्लिनेशन टूवर्ड्स मेल उसे लड़के ज्यादा पसंद थे शायद ओके शायद नॉट अ कंप्लीट थिंग ओके बट रिमेनिंग टू सोनेट्स वेर आर रिमेनिंग टू सोनेट्स वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स टोटल वन फिफ्टी टू वी टॉक अबाउट वन फिफ्टी फोर सो बचे हुए दो सोनेट द रिमेनिंग टू सोनेट्स वर सेपरेटली पब्लिस इन अ मैगजीन एडिटेड बाय विलियम जैगर्ड आई एम राइटिंग द नेम प्लीज चिक दैट विलियम जैगर्ड विलियम Jagger please check this name here he edited the magazine passionate pilgrim and in this magazine there were two sonnets separately published now the sonnets were two loves i have of comfort two loves i think uh, my shakespeare <laughs> my tiger likes shakespeare two loves i have of comfort and my when my love swears and second sonnet when my love swears so these two sonnets were published separately now remember this thing it is believed that these two sonnets were personal sonnets and actually talk about shakespeare's extramarital relation or maybe it showed that shakespeare was having two women in his lives two loves i have of comfort or something like that now he has written three long poems venus and adonis and no no shock venus and adonis and rape of lucrezia 
Venus and Adonis was written in 1593 and Rape of Lucrezia was written in 1594. 1593 Venus and Adonis is a love poem. Deals with the love of Venus for Adonis. But <laughs> Okay, okay, hold on. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, no, go, 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 go. She asked me to go. Go. Keep writing. Third poetry is lover's complaint. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. So, 1593 Venus and Adonis. It's a love poetry where Venus, the goddess Aphrodite, she falls in love with the shepherd. And uh, Adonis has been uh, mentioned as a kind of shepherd, right? So, what is that Adonis wants to go for hunting and uh, Venus would come saying that don't go for hunting, I want to be with you. So, Adonis thinks that uh, uh, maybe the girl is trying to stop me so that I won't go for hunting. So, he flirts with her one day. Goddess Venus, she knows that if Adonis goes for hunting, she will go to play hunting, then she will She says, please don't go today. But Hunter thinks, this guy, Adonis, he thinks that if uh, this lady is trying to flirt, so I should go. He goes and gets killed. So it's a romantic, idealistic story. Next one, Rape of Lucrezia. It deals with a story where a girl was raped by some nobleman and he cut her tongue and hands. She won't be able to name uh, the person, write down the name of the person. She won't be able to tell. So in short, what happens? That Rape of Lucrezia is a serious story. Then there is one most long poetry written by a Shakespeare, kind of uh, lover's complaint. So there is a girl, she has been, uh, you know, crying and uh, she is actually upset. So one old man comes to her, uh, why are you crying? So she says that I have been deceived by my lover. And uh, the, uh, the old man says that what kind of love you had. So uh, she says that. That he was very true to me and he was initially in love with me. But now something has gone wrong and uh, uh, kind of uh, my lover has forgotten me. My lover has uh, um, ignored me. So there's a beautiful line. Ek achhi line is me. Oh, I may fall again for those infected eyes. One of my favorite lines. Infected means pe he, she says that ki mera jo lover hai, uski mein infection a gaya, matlab, ab usse main nahi hoon. But she said that, oh, I will still fall for that man. Now, apart from these things, we go for Shakespearean stories. Before we go for Shakespearean stories, I must tell you something very important. Guys, remember, there had been no Shakespeare if there were no university wits. So it is only university wits who made Shakespeare famous. Now, what I want you to do, the online student, those who are writing it right now, Please remember, there were seven university vets. Seven university vets. First thing, before we talk about university vets, I give you a briefing. Who are university vets? Elizabethan time was also known for the universities, Cambridge and Oxford. And Oxford and Cambridge started teaching dramaturgy course. Dramaturgy course means, you know that, anything related to drama. So the course of dramaturgy, it resulted in good scholars, in good directors, in uh, very learned people. The theatre artists were much better now. So the term University Wet, it was coined by George Sainsbury. Sainsbury coined the term University Wets. And then University Wets are also known as Oxbridge Scholar. Ox for Oxford, Bridge for Cambridge. Oxbridge Scholar. Now see what happens here. What happens here is that University Wets, there were seven people. Now we will name them. So first of all, Christopher Marlowe. Let's go for the heading. Christopher Marlowe, the best university wet, the best uh, scholar in the group of university wets, writer of Dr. Faustus. Then three Thomas, three colors. That's my way to remember. Three Thomas. Thomas Laws, L-O-D-Z-E. Thomas Kidd, K-Y-D. Thomas Nash, N-A-S-H-E. Three colors. Robert Green, Hara. John Lilly, Red, Lal. And George Pele, P W E L E, yellow. So these seven university wits, they made the way for Shakespeare. It is believed 
दे पेव द वे फॉर शेक्सपियर शेक्सपियर को इन्होंने बनाया नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव नो आइडिया दैट व्हाई दीज यूनिवर्सिटी वर्ड्स आर रिलेटेड टू शेक्सपियर सो आई टेल यू दिस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो जॉन आर प्लीज नो जॉन लिली ही इज द वन हु वाज नोन फॉर हिज हाई स्टैंडर्ड कन्वर्सेशन स्टाइल हाई स्टैंडर्ड कन्वर्सेशन स्टाइल he taught shakespeare the royal language which is also known as euphemism e u p h e u i s m if you ism or you can call it e u p h e u m i s m euphemism which means the highly uh, kind of uh, dignified way of talking aap kisi ko bolte ho khana kha le how do you ask person to eat you say uh, eat it roti kha lo uh, gusse mein mummy bolti hai meri jab main tv dekhta rehta hu bolti hai khana dhus lo लेकिन व्हेन यू आस्क समवन की प्लीज तशरीफ रखिए भोजन ग्रहण कीजिए दैट्स यूफ्यूमस स्टाइल स्टाइल सो दैट्स हाउ यू एक्चुअली टॉक अबाउट द रॉयल क्लास बिकॉज़ रिमेंबर द वे किंग्स टॉक इज ऑलवेज डिफरेंट सो जॉन लिली टॉट शेक्सपियर द डिग्निफाइड लैंग्वेज द रॉयल एटीट्यूड्स द रॉयल बिहेवियर्स रॉबर्ट ग्रीन रॉबर्ट ग्रीन इज द फर्स्ट क्रिटिक ऑफ शेक्सपियर एंड टॉट हिम प्लॉट कंस्ट्रक्शन strong female characters so technically in shakespearean comedy there are many subplots and who taught this thing robert green in fact robert green was the first man to criticize shakespeare usne bola ki he is an upstart crow and uh, beautified on our feathers so wo ek aisa kauwa hai jo hamare pankh laga ke ud raha hai means shakespeare ko bola shakespeare is a crow using our wings the wings of university wits so he looks beautiful because he has our wings then george peele george peele say he talked about the chronicle plays historical plays so shakespeare richard ii richard iii henry iv fifth sixth seventh eighth henry series ye sab george peele se copy kiya then we have thomas nash picaresque style picaresque style where a character is wandering in the jungle in the forest so picaresque style was copied or taken from thomas nash means if you remember as you like it the lovers are in the forest in midsummer's night dream the lovers are in the forest hamlet becomes mad and goes for a wandering so all types of picaresque element taken from thomas nash revenge tragedy thomas kidd badla lena hamlet is a revenge tragedy othello is a kind of revenge tragedy where othello kills his wife for taking revenge for breaking his heart breaking his trust then we have other revenge tragedies titus andronicus uske baad kaun bacha hamare paas bachta hai uh, thomas laws political scenes political satires civil war jo uski book hai so shakespeare has imitated all these writers i believe i have answered all and uh, now comes christopher marlowe what did shakespeare learn from christopher marlowe everything everything but only for tragedies when i say everything remember not anything related to comedy marlowe never wrote comedies please remember this point christopher marlowe never wrote comedies but for tra- tragedy shakespeare copied everything from marlowe or isse badi cheez kya hogi it is believed that marlowe was shakespeare <laughs> marlowe hi shakespeare tha aise mante hain marlowe shakespeare tha so ab hum baat karte hain shakespeare ke plays ki So remember when Marlowe was writing tragedies, Shakespeare was writing comedies, and Shakespeare's career has been divided in four parts. यहाँ पे आपको याद रखना है. Before 1588, he tried to write, but then it was just some stagecraft, basic thing, and moreover he disappeared. He disappeared for few years. बोलते हैं कि वो गायब हो गया था. Around 1585 to 1592, सात साल के लिए गायब हो गया था. then he came back started writing for stays and before 15 uh, 88 to 1594 he was disappeared and he wrote few comedies and disappeared 1595 to 1600 he has written good comedies so always remember the good comedies will always come between the duration of 1595 to 1600 but we are not talking about the publication we are talking about the stage performance remember that All the Shakespearean plays will be published in sixteen or twenty. Yeah, as I was saying, I just missed it. Sixteen twenty-three. Sorry, my bad. Sixteen twenty-three. All the Shakespearean plays will be uh, 
published in 1623 and uh, published by two actors Hemming and Condell. ठीक है, not 22, 23. So other plays 1595 uh, to 1600. Then all the great tragedies were from 1600 to 1608. Then 1608 to 1616, the last work where we have Tempest, Pericles, the minor works. Now we talk about how Shakespeare has dealt with his stories. The most important story from net point of view that you have to remember is Taming of the Shrew. Like most of the people are reading Hamlet, Macbeth, and other stories. Remember, Taming of the Shrew has anti-feminist theme. Taming of the Shrew has anti-feminist theme. So what happens here? Here we have a girl. she is fond of abusing she has a habit of cursing anyone and that's why nobody is married to her to wo bahut galiyan deti hai bahut galiyan deti catherine naam uska aur uh, we can say that usme comedy of humors ka concept hai that she is suffering from a kind of comedy of humors disbalance you will also remember that do we have any shakespearean character for her eccentric behavior yes catherine from taming of the shrew so she is a bad tongue she abuses anyone nobody wants to marry her her father is in depression and he announces that anyone who tries to marry her will be given the half of the property to kehte hain ki jo usse shaadi karega usko aadhi property mil jayegi ab property ke naam pe to kuch bhi ho jata hai log karte hi hain so ek ladka petrushio p e t r u c h i o Petruchio goes to marry. Petruchio कहता है चलो किस बार try कर लेते हैं हाँ लालच कह दो या ambitious बोल दो उसे कुछ भी बोल दो Petruchio goes to meet girl's father and says uh, I want to try my luck. I want to marry her. Father says okay. <laughs> father says बेटा तुम भी गालियाँ सुनना चाहते हो सुन लो so you want to have some abuses go meet her. Petruchio goes to meet the girl and the moment the girl looks at him she says uh t b b b t b b b to jaise hi usko dekhti hai wo teen char badhiya wali you can imagine aapke states mein aapki tarike se kaun si hoti hai so suna deti hai wo badhiya wali uh aaj mostly comments mein koi galiyan de nahi rahe nahi to pichle session mein in last session the rivals they tried their best so that okay, i'll stop uh, teaching live unhone bahut gaane likhi thi to agar wo likhte to i would have told you that these kind of so the girl started giving all those high five dignified abuses and the boy was ready to face this so boy said wow unbelievable what a melodious voice you have i have never heard the literary use of abuses the pun is different wow this abuse is so new this touched my heart so ladke ne kya bola kya baat hai ye hoti hai galiyan wah kya galiyan ye to dil pe lagi maza hi aa gaya ye to ekdam nahi hai is gali mein to kya grammatical use hua hai <laughs> so ab uh, ladki ko lagta hai that this guy can handle me ye to galiyan wale sunke bhi is fine with me so she abuses more and more but he keeps on praising he keeps on praising shaadi ki baat karne ke liye tareef hi tareef karta hai kehta hai ji jo bhi hai bahut acha hai nice abuses keep abusing what a melodious voice you have <laughs> to ab kya hota hai ki shaadi ho jati hai and in the marriage petrushio troubles her wo chaan bujh ke samay pe nahi aata hai shaadi ke liye she gets irritated she abuses after marriage jab shaadi ho jati hai Petrushio says that we are husband and wife, and I must share the nature. Like we share half life. Ah, you are not a half life, so we must. Shami Mashraf, pun in Gali, in my way. I just wanted to say so that you understand. So Petrushio says that husband and wife should share everything. I will share your habit, and I will also do the same. so now they have to go back ab barat ghar wapas jayegi barat has to go back after wedding girl has to re, go to the husband's house 
सो वेन द कार्ट कम्स द चैरियट कम्स हॉर्स चैरियट जब रथ आता है सो ही स्टार्ट अब्यूजिंग द चैरियट राइडर इस इज थर्ड क्लास आदमी घटिया आदमी ये क्या घोड़े हैं दिस इज बैड दिस इज बैड सो जब वो अब्यूज करता है तो चैरियट राइडर रन जो एंड ही सेज माई क्वीन विल वॉक टू द पैलेस पैदल चल के जाएंगे हम जब वो वहां पहुंचता है आज भी पानी दे देना यार जब वो वहां पहुंचता है तो वहां पे खाना ऑफर होता है सो ही ईट्स एवरी थिंग एंड स्टार्ट अब्यूजिंग एवरी फूड करसिंग एवरी फूड दिस इज टेस्ट नॉट टेस्टी दिस इज वेरी कोल्ड दिस इज वेरी हॉट दिस इज वेरी स्पाइसी दिस इज वेरी बैड सो कम इट कम इट सो दैट्स हाउ ही करसेज एवरी थिंग जब रेस्ट करने का टाइम आता है He he curses the 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 cushions. cushions says bed bada bekar hai. Cushions are bad. Pillows are bad. bad. Pillows So he makes her hungry, stay hungry. He makes her eat a sit in the, uh, ground, sleep in the ground, sleep ground. And uh, after this, like this is the treatment. It goes on for one month. He abuses everything. Her maid servants. Nobody is there to take care of her. After one month, three friends they are talking to each other, and. Uh, they are like let's see whose wife is more obedient see tiger is also listening T- tiger bhi net pass kar jayega i'm sure so uh three of these friends they say whose wife is you know a kind of uh, kiski bivi aagya kari hai obedient hai to teeno apni wife ko messenger bhejte hain ki let's see jiski wife sabse pehle aayegi wo jeetega so three of them they send the messengers and uh, this lady she just leaves everything and runs like an innocent pet reaching the first and makes everyone feel that he is the one who is winner message is that how petruccio controlled that lady tamed that lady sahi kiya galat kiya was it right or wrong बताइए लिखिए शेष ने सही किया गलत किया सही कहानी है हाँ भाई टाइगर सही है टाइगर कह रहा है मुझे क्या फर्क पड़ता है मुझे खाने से मतलब है ओके नो 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 समी हैज रिटन ग्रूम नो ओके ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दिस इज नॉट अ वे टू ट्रीट अ लेडी आई एम टेलिंग दस दस माई आइडिया माई हू uh culture coming from my family and i for an i will make the whole world blind aankh ke badle aankh sab andhe ho jayenge that was the wrong way of treating a lady what if your wife is suffering from something will you torture her this is wrong by torturing you can control an animal but that doesn't mean that you will change the heart of the animal if you don't make her eat obviously she will listen to you But that was wrong. So remember that was wrong. Now second thing. So remember this story has anti-feminist theme. Theme. Anti-feminist theme. Now the second story that you have to remember, the most important story, is Merchant of Venice. Because here we have casteism, or we can simply say the religious or racial inequality. Merchant of Venice has two best friends, Bassanio and Antonio. If I'm wrong, please check. कर लेना I think यही है Antonio, Bassanio, they are fast friends. Antonio is very rich, बहुत अमीर है, businessman है. Bassanio is a spendthrift and a prodigal person. Bassanio keeps on uh, spending money, हमेशा पैसे खत्म हो जाते हैं, मांगता रहता है, keeps on asking money from his friend. Bassanio goes to his friend Antonio and says that uh, I have seen a girl, Portia, P O R T I A. and uh, portia is a beautiful girl and i want to marry her so antonio says okay go and marry he said no 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 to marry her i need some money and the money amount is 3000 ducats please remember they may ask you a question 3000 ducats ab dekho kya hota hai i have written this 3000 ducats you can check it so what happens antonio says that i have invested everything in the business so i have no money और एक होता क्या यहाँ पे क्यों कहता है मेरे पास पैसे नहीं है आई एम रनिंग आउट ऑफ मनी बट यू गो टू द मार्केट टेक मनी ऑन माय नेम ऑन माय क्रेडिट एंड आई विल पे ऑन योर बिहाफ बेसन यू गोज टू द मार्केट 
asking the people to lend him money but nobody has money this is the business month season everybody has invested so nobody has money to ab kya hota hai they find one man who has money shylock shylock has money ab shylock is a jew remember that shylock is a jew and being jewish in christian domination was some religious issue shylock says that i cannot help you why should i help you main aapko help kyun karu uh i'll just answer this ki shakespeare ne kyun bola taming of the shrew see shakespeare was not a feminist okay so obviously wo patriarchy point of view se bola usne this is the modern time so we know it was wrong so coming back shylock said that why should i help you antonio doesn't like me means christian antonio doesn't like jew shylock and moreover he calls me a dog publicly shylock says that he insults me he humiliates me he hates me for being of different religion why should i help you and he calls me a dog publicly and moreover he says please write this line is like ko likh lena he says if you prick us do we not bleed if you hit us do we not avenge please ko likh lo if you prick kaanta chubana अगर आप हमें पोक करते हैं कांटा पिन करते हैं तो डू वी नॉट ब्लीड क्या हम इंसान नहीं है हमें खून नहीं निकलता है एंड इफ यू हिट अस तो क्या हम बदला नहीं लेंगे सो दैट्स हाउ ही सेज दैट इफ यू प्रिक अस डू वी नॉट ब्लीड इफ यू हिट अस डू वी नॉट अवेंज सो ही सेज दैट आई वॉन्ट आई हेट हिम आई वोट गिव मनी बट देन फाइनली ही मेक्स अ प्लान ही सेज ओके वन कंडीशन आई कैन गिव यू मनी एंड द कंडीशन इज if besenio does not return money within 3 months 3 mahine mein paisa wapas nahi hua aapne dekha na firhera piri ek ka double wo bolte hain ki agar paisa wapas nahi hua shylock will cut one pound flash from antonio's body shylock antonio ki body se one pound flash means 400 gram mass 400 लास्ट में बोलेगा वो कि uh, मैं मास्क कहां से काटूंगा सो ही सेज की देन ओनली आई गिव यू मनी सो एंटोनियो थिंक्स शाइलॉक मस्ट बी किडिंग ऐसे कौन करता है हु डज लाइक दैट सो मस्ट बी ही इज जोकिंग एंड लेट्स डू दिस और और एंटोनियो वाज वेरी श्योर दैट हिज मनी विल रिटर्न एंड इफ इफ हिज मनी डजंट रिटर्न ही हैज मेनी अदर फ्रेंड्स सो ही कैन टेक मनी एंड गिव इट अब क्या हुआ पैसा मिल गया नाउ द मनी हैज बीन गिवन and then okay hold on sushant singh you can guide me separately sushant singh aapka guidance i can handle separately but here there are many students those who know the basic stories so unko bhi idea but i am talking about some different point of views so in case you are at higher level you can text me separately so now what happens here the money has been given to this guy besenio Besenio goes to meet Portia. Portia's father has condition three different things. In the condition is to marry Portia. There are three different box: some golden box, silver box, and bronze. Three different box, and one must pick the right box to find out the portrait of Portia. So, if you want to marry her, pick the right box, and the right box has portrait of Portia. If you pick the wrong box. you will have to you will have to avoid this means you will never marry aur aap apni property de doge aadi so jo aisi condition hai to aap jaoge shaadi karne ki agar aapne by chance galti kar di to aap shaadi nahi karoge so what if in case you made a mistake you won't marry and uh, moreover you have to give you half of the property aur kasam khani padegi ki kabhi shaadi nahi karni hai but you know the challenges were accepted by the noble man this was a fashion to challenge impossible things so six people they reach there please remember that six people they may ask you question jo abhi yahan pe ek sir likh raha tha na ki uh, this is basic unko bhi nahi pata hoga ki kitne log jate hain wahan pe six people reach there duke of norway duke of burgundy four more people they all fail besenio goes and finds out besenio goes and picks the right box now remember these three box have three different lines paper mein agar question aa gaya na pick the wrong one so you remember a b c and the wrong one first golden one golden box says 
I am the one everyone desires. The silver one says, I am the one everyone wants to have, wants to get. Bronze says that I am the one everyone deserves. I am the one everyone deserves. So he picked the bronze one, the leaden one. So make sure you remember the lines and quotes. Net me as a bari question at they ask minute questions. It is also believed the Shakespearean critics say that Bessonio is not the hero. So how Bessonio could be so intelligent to find out the right box? Because in most of the Shakespearean stories, it is just the hero only who is smart. Rest are the normal people. How Bessonio took the challenge went for the greatest challenge ever that in case you fail, you will never marry. And uh, he found the right box. So what happens here? It is believed, the critics believe, the critics say that Portia was in love with Bessenio. She must have helped him. In opening scenes, Bessenio tells Antony, Antonio that I have seen some gestures from Portia's side and I feel that she is in love, love with me. So what happens? He has found the right box. Now he is very smart. Now what will happen after marriage? What will a smart girl do? Now what will a smart girl do? What can a smart girl do? The most smart girl. Especially like Bessenio. Bessenio stays with his in-laws. He doesn't even return. He stays with his in-laws. Bessenio? Tiger is happy in the name of the Tiger. Tiger is saying, I'm like this. So he stays with his in-laws and doesn't go. So what happens now? He has forgotten his friend. After three months, three months have passed. So one messenger comes and says that your friend is going to die. Anthony is going to die for the sake of friendship. And he has given you blessings and you enjoy your married life. So, yes, King Lear will come. Yes, King Lear will come. So, what will happen? What will happen? What will happen? What do we call? This guy, Bessenio, he tells the story to Portia that how he has taken money. And he tells that I must save my best friend. So, he takes money. And goes to meet the Shylock in the court. Now remember this thing. Ki... Ankit, galat aap mat dekhiye na. Agar aapko mera dog pasand nahi hai toh. Yaar, ek toh live session bhi karo. Usme bhi aapke according karo kya. Aur waise bhi disturb nahi kar raha. Janwar hai. Kya pata usi ki dhuwa lag zai. Don't hate. Okay, so come back. Don't trouble me with these comments. Unnecessary comments. Let me teach. Okay. Uh, in the court scene, Duke is there, Shylock is there, and Anthony is there. Bessenio comes, Bessenio requests the Duke, and Duke says that Shylock, please don't kill Anthony, take money, and the court will pay. So he says, No, I don't want money, I want justice. Then Bessenio comes and says, Okay. Paid two times, six thousand to get. You paid three thousand. You take six thousand. Spare my friend. Pardon my friend. He said, "No, I want justice." Then Bessenio says, "Okay, take three times. Three bar jada lelo. Three times more. Nine thousand to get." Then he said, "No, no, no. I don't want." Now remember this: when Duke says that, "Do not do this. Do not kill this man." Shylock says that, "Yes, I will pardon him." But I will tell everyone that in a Christian dominated country, a country dominated by Christian Jew doesn't get justice. So Duke also becomes silent because he knows this is uh, politically wrong. Uh, he must have the favor of Jews. So what happens now? That Bessenio's assistant, uh, Portia. Portia becomes the lawyer in the disguise. And she becomes the lawyer there. Now remember the disguise name, lawyer. There is no name of his name. Caesarea or something, there is no name of his name. Now what happens? She says that I want to read the document. So when she reads the document, now remember that's a very important point. This is the scene when Shylock is sharpening his knife. Caesarea, yes, Caesarea is the name. Portia comes in disguise of Caesarea, becomes the lawyer. And what happens now? That the court proceeding is going on. Shylock is sharpening the knife. 
imagine imagine that you are antonio somebody is going to take one pound flash from your body and shylock says i will take the flash from the heart kada near the heart dil ke paas se means he wants to kill he has an intention to kill theek hai so ab kya hota hai ab kya hota hai ki shylock is sharpening the knife you can simply imagine like this he is doing like this sharpening the knife can you feel the pain can you feel the pain okay okay i'll make you feel how many of you have taken injections all of us everyone injection laga hai na sabko injections lage hai the most painful thing is when the doctor does like that let's go so this is the injection doctor does like that and you <laughs> with your helpless eyes look at that cruel injection in the hands of doctor and then doctor will be like le ja shabash and he will rub your body like this and slowly 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 it goes to you that's most painful aisa hota hai ki maar do yaar but don't do these things this is happening shylock is sharpening the knife itna bada chaku uske samne robinson the critic says that that's one of the most scary scene of elizabethan stays remember that robinson says that one of the most scary scene of elizabethan is a where he was sharpening his knife kehte hain elizabethan crowd ro pada hoga it is believed that they must have cried the elizabethan people watching this play that why this is happening so ab kya hota hai ki jab ye cheeze chal rahi hoti hain to this lady reads the document and says that it is clearly mentioned that shylock can take one pound flash so everybody is like yes right sahi bola hai he is right and shylock becomes happy because the lawyer came and lawyer gave the verdict in his side so he says oh what a face of justice oh son of daniel let me ask you a question who is called the son of daniel in the book lawyer daniel is the god of justice ha aa gaya ek ladka yahan pe abbe kutta beech mein mat lana अमित तेरे से महंगा है भाई तेरे से ज्यादा महंगा है और ऐसे लैंग्वेज मत बोलो उसके लिए मैंने मेरा जवाब ऐसे ही आएगा अच्छा क्या बोलते हैं उसको <laughs> कहीं मैंने पढ़ा था देश चुनौतियों से परेशान नहीं है देश इनसे परेशान है सो ओके कहा पे था आजा बेटा तेरे से चिड़ रहे हाँ आजा आजा चल बैठ जा बैठ So now what happens? Uh, he reads this thing and says, "Okay, you cut one pound flash." So when he goes to cut one pound flash, he says, "Wait, wait, stop!" And says, "Don't shed even a single drop of blood. Do not shed even a single drop of blood. Halka sa bi khun mat girana." And here Antonio shouts, "Oh, what a face of justice! Oh, son of Daniel!" Public jose chillati. and shylock understand that he has been trapped he cannot do anything he says give me 9000 ducats lawyer says you denied to take 9000 ducats so no money then he says okay give me some 3000 only lawyer says no 3000 you will take justice only you wanted justice ab aapko nyay hi lena padega you we'll have to take justice so finally lawyer says that antonio should be left pardoned Shylock's property should be taken by the state, and half property should be given to his daughter. There can be a question that Shylock's half property was taken by the king. Thus, uh, this uh, you know, Shylock's half property was taken by the state. Half property was given to his daughter. Remember that. So this is known as a comedy, hovering at the brink of tragedy. It is said by Robinson. Please write that. A comedy. Hovering, H O V E R I N G, at the brink of tragedy. This is by Robinson. Please remember that a comedy hovering at the brink of tragedy. So now we're going to talk about the next story, Twelfth Night. I'm telling you the important stories, and uh, yes, I know it is not possible to sum up Shakespeare in one lecture only. We will have three more lectures, two to three lectures, talking about see Hamlet. we going to study hamlet from feminist point of view tempest from post colonial point of view so make sure you come back 
uh, on given the given timings if you are new here subscribe it so that you will get informations theek hai okay so uh, make sure you subscribe so that you will get information regarding the other classes now we talk about 12th night 12th night is set in italy now remember that it is set in italy because most of the shakespearean plays are either set in rome or in the british areas 12th night is set in italy so make sure you remember that now what happens in the opening scene we find duke orsino o r s i n o he is in love with olivia and duke orsino says if music be the food of love play on remember one of the most opening uh, famous opening line if music be the food of love play on us samay agar dhinchak pooja hoti to duke bolta hai ise batao if music be the food of love play on if music can gratify my desires socho कि ड्यूक कह रहा है इफ म्यूजिक बी द फूड ऑफ लव एंड बैकग्राउंड में धिनचक पूजा कम्स सो वैसे शी इज आल्सो एन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम आईपी यूनिवर्सिटी लेट्स सी नेट करने का बात ही वो सो नो व्हाट हैपेंस ड्यूक इज इन लव विद ओलिविया ओलिविया डजंट रेसिप्रोकेट हर हिज लव एंड दिस लव स्टोरी हैज अ सडन टर्न व्हाट हैपेंस हियर अ शिप इज रेक्ड अ शिप इज डिस्ट्रॉयड and a twin sebastian and voila they are separated to ek pani ka jahaz hai wo doob jata hai wahan pe do judwa bhai behan hai wo alag alag ho jate hai they get separated so sebastian and voila they come to the same city but they don't know about the other one means brother thinks sister voila is dead voila thinks brother is dead okay but they are in the same city so ab kya hota hai किसने लिखा है ड्यूब बेहोश हो जाता है यस सो अब क्या होता है कि वोइला इज अ गर्ल इन एन अननोन सिटी टू प्रोटेक्ट हर टू मेक हर सेफ शी डिस्गाइजेस हरसेल्फ वो अपने आप को डिस्गाइज कर लेती है एज अ मेल एंड गेट्स अ जॉब बिकम्स द पेज ऑफ द ड्यूक ऑरसिनो सो ड्यूक ऑरसिनो की असिस्टेंट बन जाती है मेड uh, बन जाती है बट डजन टेल दैट आई एम अ गर्ल ऑरसिनो इज इन लव ऑरसिनो डजन डू एनीथिंग उस समय नेट का एग्जाम भी नहीं था ऑरसिनो नेट की तैयारी करे सो so, ऑरसिनो क्या करता है सिर्फ प्यार मोहब्बत की बातें करता है कीप्स ऑन टॉकिंग लव 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 दिस मेक्स वोइला बीइंग अ वुमेन फील फॉर हिम एंड शी फॉल्स इन लव विद ड्यूक ऑरसिनो अब क्या होता है ऑरसिनो सेज वोइला आस वोइला टू कैरी हिज लव लेटर्स टू ओलिविया ऑरसिनो बोलता है टेक माय लव लेटर्स ही डजंट नो वोइला इज अ गर्ल ही सेज टेक माय लव लेटर्स एंड गो एंड गिव इट टू ओलिविया Voila in the disguise of male looks like her brother. She goes to meet Olivia. Olivia finds a cute messenger, a cute boy, and she falls in love with Voila's disguise. Olivia doesn't know कि ये लड़का है. अब क्या होता है? Orsino is in love with Olivia. Olivia is in love with Voila. Voila is in love with Orsino. त्रिभुज ट्राइंगल लव ट्राइंगल और सीनो लव ओलिविया ओलिविया लव वॉयला वॉयला लव और सीनो ओके नाउ वी विल स्टॉप द स्टोरी हियर अब सब प्लॉट देर इज एन अदर सब प्लॉट हाउ वॉयला चूजेज टू डिस्काइज हर सेल्फ टू बी सेफ इन एन अननोन सिटी ठीक है अननोन सिटी अब क्या होता है देर इज एनदर स्टोरी गोइंग ऑन there is a character malvelio most important character malvelio please note that he is a puritan now remember this serious point this is serious point shakespeare has made fun of puritans that shows shakespeare was kind of christian against puritans milton was a puritan puritans were those people those who were very different and very uh, you know we can say very die hard religious people हमेशा गॉड 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 की बात करते थे वर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग रिलीजियस माइंड सेट पीपल राइट सो प्यूरिटन का मजाक उड़ा है अब देखो क्या होता है मलवेलियो इज इन लव विद ओलिविया एंड थिंक्स दैट ओलिविया लव हिम बैक सो मलवेलियो द प्यूरिटन द रिलीजियस मैन ही 
thinks that Olivia loves him and he loves Olivia. So what is it? He is always happy. He is always happy that Olivia secretly loves him and one day she will accept his love. True. That was a kind of psychological disorder. Have you ever thought about it? Like our heroines. Take any name. Deepika, Sonakshi, Bollywood heroines. Their bodyguards, their bodyguards, their hairdressers, their cab drivers, they are normal people, average people. So when these girls, they behave good to them, sometimes they feel that this is love. This is kind of acceptance. So as a behavior, thinking that somebody is in love with you, that's a kind of psychological disorder. So what happens? Malvelio keeps on smiling, keeps on happy. And this behavior of Malvelio irritates an uncle of Olivia known as Uncle Toby. Now, here we have an important point to write here. The sir was giving us knowledge, he was giving us lectures, that you have to study high-five. In this book, Uncle Toby is the only English name. All other characters are Italian names. Please remember that. Puri Bik mein sirf ek hi aisa hai Uncle Toby who has Toby Belch, English name. Toby Belch, only name in English. Thik hai? Please remember that. Ye aapke alawa kisi ko nahi aayega. Only you will know that. So, now what happens here? Toby wants to make fun of Malvelio and he calls his mistress Maria. Thik hai? He wanted to teach him a lesson so he called his mistress Maria. And he asks that please copy handwriting of Olivia and write some love letters. Maria copied the handwriting of the queen Olivia and wrote some love letters talking about the love of Olivia for this uh, Malvelio. Now, what is it? Letter me kya that when you dress up in your yellow stockings, yellow shocks, long yellow shocks, yellow dress, you look damn good. When you uh, smile, you look good. And here the letter says, keep smiling even if I ask you not to do that. So technically the message is that keep smiling even if I ask you to stop it in presence of others because I won't mean it. Keep laughing. Keep happy uh, in front of me. Keep showing me your teeth. And moreover, apni jo yellow wali dress hai, usme aao. Thik hai? Ab kya hota hai? Malvelio find these letters jo actually plant kiye gaya usse raaste mein. And there is a beautiful line in the letters. Please read and remember. Some are born great. Some achieve greatness. Some have greatness thirst upon them. Some are born great. Kuch mahan paida hote hain. Rahul Gandhi. Ankit, it's okay. It's okay. Ankit Nagar, it's okay. Some are born great. Means Rahul Gandhi. Some achieve greatness. Abdul Kalam. Some have greatness thirst upon them. Kuch ko jabajasti mahan banaya jata hai. Hello friends. Chai peelo. Aya sonj mein. Did you get that? Hello friends, chai pee lo. Okay, okay, okay. Bahut hi kohra hai, kohra hi kohra hai. Aaj hum asman ki uchaiyo mein. Ek chiz to hai, tum pakka hi bolo ki ki. And this is, I'm enjoying teaching you. Maza aara padhane mein. So samaj gaya na, kuch logo ko. Ha, wohi chiz. Kuch logo ko mahan badaya jata hai. Social media ne bana diya. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, some have greatness thrust upon them. It's a beautiful line written in the love letters for Malvelio. Now next day, Malvelio dress band kya jata hai? Now next day, Malvelio is in yellow dress. Olivia is upset. Olivia has lost her cousin, her cousin. She's sad. She says, why are you dressed up like that in yellow dress? I don't like it. He keeps on smiling. It was written in the letter that keep uh, smiling. So she says, for heaven's sake, don't smile, don't laugh, don't show me your teeth. I am mourning the death of my cousin. I am in shock. Please don't do that. But 
this guy keeps on smiling keeps on smiling and she finally puts him in the prison usse jail mein dal deti hai and malvilio thinks thinks that she will come to meet him usse wo jail mein bhi milne aayi he still happy now the scene again olivia starts forcing voila to marry olivia kehti hai ki marry me main queen hu tum queen king ban jaoge theek hai <laughs> okay so uh, olivia says please marry me voila cannot marry her voila is a girl ab wo bata bhi nahi sakti hai theek hai so what happens here olivia his guards her guards they find sebastian roaming in the streets they think it is the disguise of voila the assistant only the messenger they take him in front of olivia now sebastian doesn't know what's going on he is taken in front of the queen and queen says i'm asking you for the last time i'm asking you for one last time do you want to marry me and be the king now she was asking this from sebastian not from voila sebastian was like meri to nikal padi unknown city mein rani keh rahi hai shaadi kar lo so sebastian he was lucky he thought like this is called luck unknown city and a queen says queen is forcing you to marry he said yes yes i'm ready marriage olivia got married to sebastian duke orsino ka dil toot jata hai wo bechara do char gaane gaata hai sad ho ke so when he starts lamenting the heartbreak voila says that don't cry i am girl i am voila i am in love with you so duke orsino marries voila olivia marries sebastian and later toby marries this lady maria so that's a beautiful story here and remember it has use of music there are many devices which were used primarily the first use of sintram sintram device was used in 12th night and remember the attack on puritans is the important theme of 12th night moreover this book has been given a subtitle what you will please remember that shakespeare was not habitual of giving subtitles so it is believed that he was not sure about the title so he asked us to choose a title what you will so 12th night particularly is not related to the story so in jers that this may be or it was performed around 12th night of some uh, famous christian celebration now remember this uh it's around 1 hour and uh, it's monday so we will have a session on thursday thursday ko we will be dealing with feminist study of hamlet post colonial study of tempest king lear and tragic elements are in king lear including hamarshia peripatia and agnorisis catharsis and we will deal with macbeth and the fourth which concept of lady macbeth ye char books hum karenge next lecture mein if you are a new student please subscribe it and yes i will suggest you if you want to go for the lectures on cultural studies lit theories and so the syllabus point of view then you should join the online classes the professional courses because there we're going to start with literary theories once we are done with all the literary theories in my way known as vinith pandey style it see i just know make topics easy for students i never use mugged up language i never use bookish language i try my best to make things easy because i simply believe that if you understand it here you will translate the things so if you want you can join by contacting me on 8587035827 and remember please go for knowledge qualifying net was my dream just for one net after that i went for knowledge and this is the reason i'm seven times net qualified with double jrf go for knowledge enjoy learning kahani ko enjoy karo apne aap yaad rahega you will always remember if you enjoy the story so good night bye bye and uh, sorry for tiger tiger ne aapko thoda sa i'm sure is cute so bye bye take care thursday ko milte hain take care and those who are calling me best share the video agar aapko sach mein main best lagta hu if you actually feel i'm good share the video tell people to watch it bye bye